Welcome back to ASIS TV. Chuck Harold, SecurityGuyTV.com, SecurityGuyRadio.com. My next guest, what's your name, young man? Mark Clifton. And what's the name of your company? Princeton Identity. Princeton Identity, formerly SRI, stands for Research Institute. So you switch colleges, <laughs> right? Go yeah. back to school, right? <laughs> now, I'm fascinated by this company. We're going to get into your new stuff, which is really biometrics, which is great. But for, for the people that don't know, SRI stand for Research Institute. Back in the day, invented what? I mean, what didn't they invent? Color television. Yeah. The mouse for your computer. Right. All Siri for Apple. Oh, Siri too. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. So then you guys kind of broke out a little bit, became not part of the, the university, and then now you're into called Princeton Identity. Right. That's your new, new branding. Right. And how's it going with that? Very good. Um, so we're uh, the Iris recognition technology yeah. in the Samsung phones. So they decided they wanted to invest, and we said, sure, oh, but wow. guess how to invest is the only way we had to spin it out. So right. we spun it out about a year and a half ago. Okay. And we called it Princeton Identity. Now, I'm sorry to say it just changed to a Google Pixel, <laughs> but that was a good product in the Samsung yeah. for sure. Yeah. Excellent. And yeah. you guys kind of came up with the first uh, tablet version of this, so to speak, right? Yes. Portable and that kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. So we had a tablet version, that, and now obviously we're in the S8, the S9. And the Note 8. Right. And uh, I think we'll be in the next few models as well. Now, can we say that we're that we're totally mobile on biometrics that you do with, with the with the eye recognition? Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't have to, in the old days, I had to set everything up and blah, blah, blah. And I went to your turnstile last year, and boy, it's fast. Yes. It recognizes you from what? Three, four feet? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah. So, so um, we have uh, systems right now where you can walk through about 20 people a minute. I can recognize your face and iris, um, and also we um, we've minutes. added a third party uh, mm -hmm. a fingerprint, so it's all on the move, and you can just roll people through and, and uh, validate who they are. Now, are, are people asking for the the uh, the two way authentication? Is that a big deal? So the multimodal definitely, yeah, um, because it, it really reduces the ability to spoof uh, and create a right. uh, create a a, um, a fake. So we can't take people's eyeballs out like right. we see in the movies all the time. Right, right. <laughs> would that be even possible? Yes. It it's would possible. be. It's impossible. Oh, Im impossible. Impossible. All right, good. You're right here. <laughs> First on ASIS TV. Uh, so what else is going on? Anything coming up from the lab uh, next year we want to foreshadow? Or? Uh, well, we've got, we're have got we in production now for our door access systems, the Access 200. And uh, those are flying off the shelf. So okay. we're, we're pretty happy about that. And what about integration? Is this pretty seamless nowadays that you guys can say, listen, I got... Access control system ABC, and we want to plug the biometrics yes. into it, and I want to send a notice out to people. And yeah, it's it's uh, you know we're integrated with all the major uh, access control systems, and then if there's unique ones, we can integrate with that. We have APIs to do right. all that. So so there's a pushback on the fingerprint stuff. People, oh, they took a picture of my fingerprint. It's a privacy invasion. Blah blah blah. It seems to me the the eye would be even more of a privacy invasion in some people's minds. How is this going with the public image and the actuality of what's happening? So the fact that it's on the phone right. and people are using it on their phone, they're getting used to it. So, okay. So the scary factors, I think, is going away. That's good. Um, and, you know, we're, Samsung sold a lot of those phones, I think, over 50 million. So we're in 120 countries, 50 million phones. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite widely deployed. It's so, really, it's not the technology that's the problem, it's the social acceptance. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Um, yeah. But also, uh, I think people are now realizing with all the Facebook chatter and things like that, They've already given away so much information right. about themselves. In fact, I was at a conference last week where the guy said that every American has had their identity stolen over six times. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> yeah. So your information's out there. <laughs> well, and it is more secure. I mean, that's, yes. that is yeah. the idea. Yes. Passwords are passe. People don't do them properly, you know. Right. Uh, are you excited about where the industry is going? Are people starting to accept all this? Is this going to be the new standard? Are we getting there? Yes, I absolutely believe biometrics. If you walk around this show, you'll see there's quite a bit of biometrics. Newer that's, that's companies, too, it's are amazing. jumping in. Yeah. yeah, There's a lot of face. There's a lot of fingerprint. There's, you know, and, and I like the iris and face because you can do contactless. Yeah. And you don't spread germs and do all that other ugly stuff that fingerprints might do. So Excellent. Mark Clifton. All right. Princeton Identity. PrincetonIdentity.com. Yes. Right? And uh, I like the GSX uh, branding. I love good? it. I love it. I think it's great. It's, it's very a, it's, modern. It, there you go. Everybody, that's the first thing almost everybody says is it's very modern. And I think that's a great way to describe it. It's we're, it's changing. Yes. Bringing it up to the modernization. That's excellent. All right. So uh, we're back in a minute here on ASI TV, ASIS TV. And good to see you again, Mark. All right. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. All right.